Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining us again today. Today I will show you how to make a custom menu bar on Wix. Uh, it's very simple. The function is now built into Wix. And where you need to start off, obviously this is our welcome page and I haven't got a menu here at the moment, so we'll build a custom one. And if you go to the add elements button in the top left hand corner, the little plus symbol, and then navigate down there to menu and anchor. Okay, so like I say in all the tutorials on the channel, almost all of them, is it's always best to start with a preset that most replicates what you want yours to look like. Okay, and um, you know, obviously we've got some very simplistic looking menus here, and you can go for horizontal ones or vertical ones and kind of stylize them a little bit yourself then to kind of further customize it. So if we go for this one down here, you can see it's prompting me now to uh, either drag and drop this menu in or a single click will um, bring that menu into the website in the center for us. So usually, um, unless you want it somewhere else, it usually goes in the head uh, of the website so you can click and drag it up there. And then um, this button here, manage menu, will start there, okay? So obviously that'll give you access to the pages of your website and you're able to you know, add pages and link them to the menu and things like that there. The navigate button then will allow you to actually navigate your website. When you click it, this little navigation menu pops up on the left hand side here. So obviously you can use that, if you give me a second again, to um, maybe go to you know, your shop page or whatever. You can actually use that without you know, hitting the preview button and actually clicking the page there. Another way to navigate it manually is also to open the pages menu and then give the page a single click that you want to go to as well. That'll open it, okay? So if you go um, back to the home page for a second. Um, obviously, you've got the settings button here as well. When you add a menu for the first time, it'll prompt you, um, do you want to kind of set it as an advanced menu? And in order to get at the settings, you need to set it as an advanced menu, okay? So once you click that button, you've then got the ability to add and remove items from your menu. Um, so say, if there's a page, for example, that you don't want people to be able to navigate to in your menu, a typical one for that is like um, terms of service or, um, you know, things that you would normally house in your footer of the website. So maybe a policy of some kind or... You know, if your menu is looking a bit crowded and you don't need the page on this, for example, the shop page, you could uh, hit the little three dots at the when you hover over the page that you want to modify or edit or delete. You get these little three dots, and at that you can either hide it from the menu, rename it, or make it a sub page as well, um, and also get it to set into that page. And if you hit this little add menu item button at the very bottom of the dialog box. That'll then give you the ability to add more pages from your website. So obviously my particular website, just using a template for demonstration purposes, uh, has a lot of pages within it. When you click that then, it opens this little second dialog box, which as you can see, you can tick to add a page to the menu and then untick to remove it from the menu. Okay, so now if I untick maybe my shop, and my script and then hit apply, you can see that they've now disappeared from the website menu, okay? Um, obviously you can hide there as well, okay? Um, the layout button then will allow you to kind of further customize it, okay? So this is um, how you'd visually customize it. Obviously the things that we've looked at quite so far are quite technical in terms of customization. So this is where you kind of stylize it then. Um, you can give, you know, more space in between the lines on the menu and get quite into detail really with how you can um, make the text look and change the background and, and things like that as well. Um, so, you know, most of these settings are self-explanatory. You can reorder the items here, align them differently and kind of reshape the menu quite a bit there. Um, if you've got a lot of pages on your menu, if it's extensive and you want them all to be there, you can here as well choose, you know, how you want it to kind of act. Do you want it to wrap around? So do you want them to, you know, appear under each other or, or fill the box, however shape it's taken? Or do you want to be able to scroll through the menu like that? Um, when a sub-menu then, if you want to add one, you can manage the items on that sub-menu. Um, 
much exactly the same as the main menu is is managed as well okay so you can add an item with that button down there and then manage them with those three little dots at the right hand side there um the design button then will allow you to kind of um you know stylize the colors and things like that um the background fill option will allow you to kind of you know modify what appears behind the text then um so here you can you know duplicate and it kind of works as a, a layer based similar to photoshop layer based system and you can add different layers to that um you can reduce the opacity of certain items in there as well much like you would in photoshop and then customize the color by single clicking on it as well so if i remove that layer so just so we've got the one as a background and i single click it um, you can have an image that you can upload so you can see there's like a wood grain image in the background here at the moment you can set it to a gradient as you can see that kind of matches the palette of the site by default or you can have a single color um, typically you'd want maybe a single color just to denote that it is a menu you know um, if we add that and again you can reduce the opacity of it and so on and so forth and then also you've got the ability then to you know customize the border choose the color of that and the kind of shape of it and the, the width of it in pixels um you can modify you know the the shape of the corners here as well drop a shadow if you want to um for any particular reason to make it stand off the background a little bit and then um, add some pads to the corners of it as well you can also then um, animate the way the menu appears on screen when the f page is first loaded or where a user first navigates to the menu. Typically, you know, the vast majority of the time you're going to keep it as none, but if you want the menu to appear in some special way to denote that it is a menu, you know, to bring people's attention to it or anything like that, there's the preset animations are there. Um, you can stretch it out, obviously, if it's got to um, include a lot of pages on it. You can stretch it to the width of the page automatically there um, and give it some margins as well if you need to bring it in a little bit. And um, that's it. That concludes our video tutorial on how to customize a menu. If you need professional one-on-one -on -one custom support from Wix experts, then click the link in the description below. Even if you need a complete rebuild or redesign of your site, the support team of Wix web developers is here to help you. If you find this video useful, then please make sure to like and subscribe for more website tutorials, as well as comment below if you have any video requests for future videos. Thanks.